All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about Errol Smith Jr. responding to Yordanis Ugas after his win over Manny Pacquiao. And it looks like a unification fight is in order. But man, what a great night of fights. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back, welcome back. So if, you, if I have a tone of gloating in this video, hey, you're right, you sense it, I'm gloating a little bit because Manny Pacquiao lost to your Danny's Ugas in a way that I pretty much told people that he was gonna lose because look, father time doesn't lose to anybody. It's not a disrespect on Manny Pacquiao. However, this was gonna happen to Manny Pacquiao one way or the other, whether it was Errol Spence Jr or whether it was your Danny's Ugas, or whether it was somebody else, because you just can't overcome things like gravity and deterioration and things like that, especially when somebody has a 27 year boxing career. Now, before I get into the, the, the meat of the video though, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Also, like the video, share the video. It goes a long way towards making the channel grow. So, last night, your Danny's Ugas absolutely dominated Manny Pacquiao. And I'm telling the story. And today, um, Errol Spence Jr., who was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao but had to pull, had to pull out of the fight, had, had responded by saying good, S-H-I-T, and then started putting up clips where your Danny's Ugas is talking about wanting to have a unification fight with Errol Spence. Now, this that is what I'm talking about and where you and where boxing should be. And honestly, I really do, besides a little bit of gloating, want to take my hat off to Manny Pacquiao for actually taking the challenge and being confident enough guy to fight a Yordani Zugas, to fight an Errol Spence Jr. at this late stage in his career. I'm sure it's that confidence in large part that got Manny Pacquiao to where he is in his career. It's kind of feeling like, you know, he's just like a, a god walking on earth. I mean, the way that these the Manny Pacquiao fans treat him and they talk about him being the greatest fighter ever. You could see how that kind of stuff would get to your head. And in this particular instance, Manny Pacquiao put himself in a position where he bit off more than he could chew. Your Danny's Ugas dominated him, in my opinion, from maybe the second or third round on through the rest, through, through the totality of the fight. Manny Pacquiao was absolutely unable to do anything that he typically wants to do. If he did it, your Danny's Ugas was two steps ahead of it. Not only did he see it and know what exactly it was that Manny Pacquiao was trying to do, he was more than quick enough and able enough to evade it. Any of the offensive aggression that was made by M Manny Pacquiao, uh, your Danny's Ugas equalized that. And then during the periods of time when Manny Pacquiao was trying to figure it out, your Danny's Ugas was peppering him with a jab and consistently hitting him with a big right hand coming around, coming around his guard. It was just a one-sided, lopsided, in my opinion, a lopsided fight. Even though on the scorecards it was within two rounds, that had to be, and I can't wait till the scorecards are revealed so we can talk about that. That had to be the um the judges giving Manny Pacquiao a lot of the first several rounds when Manny Pacquiao was really trying to get busy, trying to let his hands go, trying to, you know, change, you know, switch angles and doing all that. You know, that must have been when he was really trying. They were trying to give him that um, those rounds. But other than that, it was a complete wash, which leads us to the real fight. Um, the top. Now we have a legitimate top three welterweights. And we're not very far from having an undisputed champion at welterweight. And those three guys are Errol Spence Jr., who owns the IBF and the WBC belt. Your Danny's Ugas, who is legitimately now the WBA super champion. Without a doubt, he is the man at 147 for the WBA. And Terrence Crawford, who is with, um, with uh, the WBO. So... But in just in case you think that Manny Pacquiao was going to somehow come back from this and it was just an off night, I think one of the things he said was, oh, you know, my legs were tight. Yeah, man, your legs are tight. You're old. That's what happens. You don't have the athleticism that you used to have when you were younger. There's a big and I've said this over and over, over again in videos. There is a big difference between being 22, what your body can do 
at 22 and what your body can do at 42. You know, your mind may be more advanced and you can see more things and understand where people's loop, you know, where their uh, weak points are and all that better when you're 42. But at 42, your job primarily sh in boxing should be to coach and train the 22 year olds and let them see you know, talk to them and let them see what you see because your body is just not going to be there anymore. And that's what you saw with Manny Pacquiao. But with Errol Spence, your Danny's Ugas and Terrence Crawford, although none of them have, you know, the media press behind them, the media, you know, the media push behind them. They are the really the guys at that weight class that are going to tell you who the best guy is. Now, in a matchup between your Danny Zugas and Errol Spence Jr., just assuming that there's nothing wrong with the, you know, with Errol Spence's eye and that all <clears throat> comes together and there's no issue with that. I'm telling you that this, I have a big advantage for Errol Spence Jr. over your Danny Zugas. Your Danny Zugas is not a, is was able to beat Manny Pacquiao, but if, in my opinion, if Errol Spence Jr. had fought Manny Pacquiao, I think Errol Spence Jr. probably would have knocked out Manny Pacquiao because Manny Pacquiao's uh, reaction time was just way too slow. And Errol Spence Jr. is the type of guy that is right there pressing you back, pushing you back, attacks of the body, you know, jab up top, two down low. And oh, by the way, I have to mention this. Um, but, you know, that there was a certain amount of protectionism going on with Manny Pacquiao in that fight with them shots to the body. I just can't let that slip. As you can tell, I took a lot of pressure from Manny Pacquiao fans in the lead up to this fight, talking about how I was, you know, an R-A-C-I-S-T for, you know, for saying the things that I said. And, you know, at a certain point in time, man, when you hear that a few thousand times, you know, it starts to kind of get on you. But anyway, Errol Spence Jr. versus Manny Pacquiao. Um, I think would have been even more of a wash than your Danny's Ugas and Manny Pacquiao because be, just because of the amount of pressure that Errol Spence Jr. puts on him and the amount of fading that went on with Manny Pacquiao in the second half of the fight. It was actually got to the point, you know, if I wasn't rooting so hard for your Danny's Ugas to, to win that fight, and I'm telling you, I was rooting for him, not because I don't like Manny Pacquiao, but because his fans are just so over the top with the things that they say about people that don't necessarily think Manny Pacquiao was going to win. You know, it was actually getting to the point of being really sad, like, man, this guy's going to mess around here and get hurt with the way your Danny's Ugas is just loading up with right hands, and Manny Pacquiao can't get out of the way of it. He could put his guard there, but but it's, but your Danny Zugas would just come around the guard. And when he came around the guard and Manny Pacquiao tried to put, you know, try to, you know, defend against the wide one, he would, you know, try to get him, you know, he would just go straight up the middle and land it just as big. So anyway, that I don't think that for those reasons, I don't really think that the fight against your Danny Zugas really speaks to how, um, he would perform against Errol Spence Jr. or Terrence Crawford. I think it's more of a statement of how old Manny Pacquiao is and how much Manny Pacquiao has lost. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.